This year we're doing the same thing that we've done in years past where we assign everybody a day. They get to pick whatever they want. Who dares challenge me? You shortchanged yourself. Your day is only going to be half a day. We're going to the butterfly biosphere. I dub the Sir Butterfly. Today is dad and mom's day and for our day we signed you guys up to volunteer in a special tabernacle touring experience. Well we're just waiting for this other slope poke in the group so I'm standing here. Oh, that's love hope, yeah. Welcome to Spring Break 2023 in Utah. We are staying home and this is what it looks like outside. It's basically a winter wonderland. This year we're doing the same thing that we've done in years past where we assign everybody a day. They get to pick whatever they want. Today is Garrett's day and he chose to start out the morning with waffles. He said nine o'clock. I knew better. I was going to be realistic. And it's 10 o'clock. We're cooking up some waffles. We're going to have some breakfast. And then as soon as we do, we're going to head out to the Hive Trampoline Park. We're going to make the most of this spring break, even though the weather isn't really cooperating. Of course, we might do some winter sports this year. I don't know. Good morning, Garrett. Looks like you slept good last night. Mm -hmm. Where's the rest of our crew? Ella's getting dressed. Do you want regular syrup or just some buttermilk? We managed to get Ella up here to join us. Spencer, you keep calling him. He says he's coming. You guys must have been enjoying staying in your nice, cozy, warm beds. So what are your plans? So first we'll have waffles for breakfast. And then we're gonna go to the Hive Trampoline Park. Okay. And then we'll get lunch over there. And then we'll go somewhere for dinner. We're going somewhere for dinner? That sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. Do you know where we're going? Are we doing lunch somewhere out to eat too? Uh, yeah. Okay. But you haven't decided where to go yet? Yeah. Okay. Well, you got a couple of hours. You can think about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Happy spring break. Let's, Let's go. Hype songs, go jump. I wanted the pink hype song. We've been a while since you felt like this, this. Well, that's fun. Go! Oh, oh wow, see that got scared off the court. Garrett had to slow down. Oh, and he's still made it up there about the same time. 
better. Oh, baby. So good. Lunchtime. So good. So good. <laughs> we are going to finish off Garrett's night, heading to dinner at Super Chicks. He loves chicken places. <laughs> so I was surprised that's not what he picked for lunch but he picked it for dinner so that's where we're gonna head and then tomorrow we have Spencer's Day coming up well today is Spencer's Day and usually when he's given the assignment of picking breakfast he does French toast. Today, went with a little something different. Yeah. Donuts, so that everybody could eat at your own pace. Because I woke up like 20 minutes ago. All right, so yeah, you woke up at 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you shortchanged yourself. Your day is only gonna be half a day. So no, you, that was scheduled. <laughs> that was scheduled. What's on the agenda besides Wait. sleeping in? We're going to a movie, the Mario Bros. movie. Yeah, yeah. that should be fun. And then Mom going to be for dinner and then the, just chill. Okay, you've always been chill days. Oh, I've just been chill, yeah. Yeah. All right, should be fun. Oh, yeah. Ellis Day and we are starting off with crepes on the stove, all sorts of yummy things to put on them and yeah, it's gonna be great. I've got some crepes, I made some homemade apple pie filling because I didn't have any. And then there's banana pudding, banana cream pudding, chocolate pudding, and of course some fruit to fill them up. Ella, yeah. that's a fun breakfast. I'm gonna put my napkin on my leg so I can. Peaches, 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 peaches. Um, chocolate pudding, banana pudding, banana strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, peach, peach, peach. whipped cream. So everything. Yum. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Well. Okay, well, what are we doing? <laughs> we're here at Thanksgiving Point for Ella's day. Is that right, Ella? Yeah, we're going to the butterfly biosphere. Check out some. Butterflies. That's right. We're going to the butterfly biosphere, <laughs> and we're gonna go check out some other places. This is Ella's day, <laughs> and I don't know what else you say, but. I was gonna say, I can't believe the weather is finally. Snowing. Beautiful, Warm. like blue skies today, sunshiny, it's so pretty. And so we're outside enjoying it on our long walk from the parking lot to the butterfly biosphere. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I gotta get a picture of him. Yeah, where's your be real? I can take your be real. Where's your phone? Wait, is it be real? Yeah, it went off. Hurry, take it. You can take it. Hurry, go, 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 go. Go slow. Yeah. Ew, I think it's like pooping. Oh, pooping on me. Here, here, here. Can I get it? I'll 
Mama. He doesn't have the right to touch. Yeah, he does. Watch. Nice and slow. Here we go, Dad. <laughs> the passing off of the butterfly. Oh he my. It. He got it. Now you better smile. Oh, cool. You want to try and hold it? There it is. I dubbed this uh, butterfly. It's loving that. That is so lit. I have the glass wings. That one's awesome. Look at this, this one's a see-through one. sending these three off today is dad and mom's day and for our day we signed you guys up to volunteer in a special tabernacle touring experience and I'll talk a little bit more about that but they've got to get going for their orientation yep and we'll see you later see, ya. see you over there we're gonna walk through it and can I, like I tell you how beautiful this weather has been these past two days it's been so nice Dad, it's like sunshiny for your day. And like what I'm happy about. Have tulips. The deer didn't eat them. It's going to be such a lovely day for mom and dad's day. About a year ago, some members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in California used Old Testament scriptural descriptions <laughs> to create an exact replica of the traveling tabernacle in the wilderness. And it's actually been touring around and people are invited to come and check it out. It's been all over in Utah and now it is here in Springville. And they've invited the youth in the area, members of the church, to sign up and be tour guides. And it's really cool. We went through it last week to just kind of get a feel for it and see what the kids would be doing and they are there now today answering questions and sharing stories and information about the tabernacle and how it relates to Jesus Christ. And it's so cool. I love that our kids get to do this during their spring break. This week is leading up to Easter and I think that's so great that they're getting a chance to think about these things and learn a little bit of history and culture of Jewish practices and celebrations of the past and do a little service as well. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, we watched a couple of instructional videos inside the church building and now we're going outside to where the replica of the tabernacle is set up. This is the outer gate and we'll go over to the east side where the entrance is. The gate is open for us, the wind is making it very convenient to come in. Here we go. This is the holy place, and this is where the priests and Levites served in the tabernacle, but this is where only the priests were allowed in. And so there are three sacred objects. First one is over here, and it's the 12 pieces of shoe bread. The 12 pieces of shoe bread represented the 12 tribes of Israel. And um, each week on the Sabbath day, the priest would come and eat the shoe bread, and it like represented a meal or a connection between them and Jehovah. What did Christ say the bread symbolized? In the south, right? Yeah. He, he, he said that he was the bread of life and they should take the bread and eat. There's also two bowls of incense over there, and which leads us to our next, our next secret object. 
which is the altar of incense. This is where the priest would burn the incense twice a day. So what do you guys think the incense burning symbolized? The smoke from the incense raises towards heaven. So it kind of points to that idea, that concept of connection with heavenly things and with God. But also incense is fragrant and it's sweet. It makes things smell sweet and nice. Yeah. That's exactly right. Because it would symbolize um, our prayers ascending into heaven and that God answers our prayers and that they would also use the incense because it like washes over the sacrifice of animal smell. Which I'm sure kind of stinks. stinks. <laughs> they also think that the smell um, like the Lord like the smell and so they used that. Our third symbol are the candles. There are some of them representing the seven branches. Um, what my candles represent today? Light. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Yes. God hears my prayers and that he will answer them and that he will be my light and will guide me through my life. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. You guys can just come to the next. All right. Thanks, guys. Oh, you did so good. Hello. Please gather around. Are you gonna read the whole? We are standing Stop before the. It. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we're just waiting for this other slowpoke in the group, so. Come stand over here. Oh, that slowpoke! Yeah. Thanks for joining us, sir. Oh, thank you. All right, welcome. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yes. Can you hear me all the way down there on the floor? Yes. Okay, sweet. So we're just introduce ourselves. I'm Spencer, and this is Garrett, and we're in your ward. And we're your sons, <laughs> so we don't really need an introduction. At least you don't say that to everybody, right? True, yeah. Okay. So just to jump right into it, we have the priest clothing. So on the left is the clothes of the priest wore, and then on the right was the high priest wore. And these high priests wore these sacred clothes to show that they were set apart from the others. And they were also the representatives of Jesus Christ for their people. They also served as mediators with performing sacrifices that would help atone for the people of Israel. So why do you guys think they wore sacred clothes like this? I like that answer. It shows respect. It's all symbolic. It's God's It's true. Very often we wear clothing that affects how we act and behave, but also it is appropriate for whatever the activity is that we're participating in and so this would have been set apart for the specific role or activity that they were going to be performing within the temple. Yeah. Notice the colors. Do you remember seeing these colors throughout the tour? Okay, now I'm gonna quiz you. Do you remember what they mean? What they represent? Yeah. The red means the Yeah. Proposed royalty. What about white? Purity. And then blue? Heaven. Heaven. Yeah. Awesome. So now I'll turn it over to Garrett and he'll tell you a little bit more about these symbols. Here we have the breastplate. On the breastplate is 12 stones. On each of the stones is one of the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. The breastplate is located near the heart to symbolize closeness to the Lord and that he loves all his children. Then we have the shoulders. On each of the shoulders is an onyx stone. On each stone is six of the 12 tribes names this represents the lord taking our burdens upon himself then on the bonnet we have the gold plate on this gold plate is four words holiness to the lord these same words are located on the outside of each of our holy temples i would like to bear my testimony in saying that these clothes are important and that wearing clothes that is respectful to Jesus Christ is very important to show love and respect to him. 
I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. And I'd also like to quickly bear my testimony about all these symbols, um, that they're inspired from the Lord, that they that they all point towards Jesus Christ. Uh, my favorite is the breastplate that's close to the heart that represents that God knows each of us and he loves us and he keeps us close to his heart. And I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Well, thanks for coming on the tour. Feel free to follow the arrows and check out all the other exhibits. Garden to finish up mom and dad's day. Can I have the Gionkai? <laughs> the what? The Gnochi. Can I have the Gnochi soup? Thank you. I've already been stressed by the